Hey, 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 Leo. We're doing love. Love, love, love. Woo, and you are hopping. Chemistry. Yeah, you are. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Who is this, Leo? Did I say Leo? Yes. <laughs> There's the stopper. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So you've got chemistry. True love. Red flags. Leo. Don't jump the gun here. I know, it, in the beginning, it's hot and heavy. It's amazing. This is the one. This is the one I've waited for my whole life. It's the love of a lifetime. They're perfect. <laughs> and then something happens and you're like, eh, it's, that, that was nothing. And then 90 days later, you're like, that was exactly something. All right, let's see what's going on here. I was very excited all of a sudden. You do, you think this is the love of a lifetime. This is the one. This is the one I'm going to do life with. This is the one I've been looking for. The chemistry is insane. We like the same things. We uh, eat the same things. We drink the same things. We have the same love language. We kiss the same. Like it's, it's like everything's perfect. We like the same music. It's like the chem, it's like this is me in another human form. You think you've hit the jackpot and you think it's true love, <laughs> but there's flags. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Interesting that I said, um, you like everything the same because maybe that's the problem in the end. That doesn't balance, same doesn't balance, right? So if you like, I don't know, if you like to go out and they, they're a homebody, that kind of keeps you both balanced, right? You're good for each other. You'll push each other. If you both like to stay home all the time, you're, you're tipping the scale only one way. So that's interesting. Maybe part of the flag is that you're two alike. So be careful with that. I'm not sure why the Empress is here. I think because you're feeling like an Empress. You're feeling like this person makes you feel on top of the world. Empresses also are growth and creation, especially children. So maybe you're thinking this is the one who I'm going to have babies with. You may have a very maternal or paternal side to you that is ready. And so in your rush to the altar, so to speak, and have said babies, you're missing some of the flags. All right, let's keep going. Tell me about this Empress, which is you, Leo. Deep down, you know something's missing with the Four of Cups and you're trying to figure out what it is. You're like, is it me or is it them? but there is something missing. I don't even know if this is on a conscious level. This is somewhere in your intuition. Trust me, it's there. You're just not paying attention to it. Something is off. 
even though everything seems perfectly aligned, there's something that you can't put your finger on. And now that I'm actually saying it, and now that you're actually hearing it, you're like, she's right. Tell me about this true love before we dig into what's missing. Why is true love here? Because you have yourself convinced that the universe sent you this, that this is faded. I, I, it is faded, but maybe not for the reasons you think. Maybe there's a lesson to be learned here. But you're choosing to see this fate as this is my person, this is the one. And you've been waiting for it for a while. And because it, it's one of those situations like, you weren't on a dating app, right? You weren't looking for it. You were out to dinner with friends and this was the person sitting at the table next to you and you just happened to start talking. And so because you met in the real world, you've told yourself, the universe sent this to me. I didn't go look for it. It fell in my lap. So it must be true love. This must be the one. The universe did send it to you, but so far to me, it's feeling like this is a lesson. But feel the feels. That feels amazing. Um, just keep, just dip toes at this point in the water. Don't jump all in yet. Any of this can change. And we'll try to figure out what the flags are. But already, Leo, if you're being honest with yourself, you're admitting there's something that's off. But you're trusting that the universe sent you it, so it has to be golden. What do you want to say? <clears throat> Addiction, codependent. Obsession, possession, controlling has a block and restraint. Uh, do you have an addiction to toxic people? Because this could be a love bombing situation that eventually will turn. This could be an ego, this could be a player. And eventually this is going to turn into control. This could be someone who just gets a high off of being told yes, being told that you want them back. And maybe that's all it is for them, I'm not really sure. But you know it, you know it, there's something off here. What do they want to say? They like you. They're having fun flirting. I feel like that's all it is. I feel like this is fun for them. Whereas you're taking it way more seriously, which is fine. Just like keep that to yourself and let them reciprocate. This is the one part where I'm bothered. Well, and especially because you got the flags. You know it. You know something's off. And you're trying to figure out what it is. But you're a smart cookie. Uh, take your time. And you've got You've got wands, you've got cups. You're, you're a little giddy right now. You're a little infatuated. So let's see if we can figure out what some of these flags are and if they are manageable. Ooh, ah. Uh, this person isn't through their healing yet. They're not ready. They are using you so that they don't have to deal with their pain from the past. You are the healing. And that's not what you wanna be in a relationship. You want them to come already healed. I always say already baked, right?
they're not through whatever their shadow, they, they need to do the shadow work first. So by love bombing you and getting into this relationship with you, they're not dealing with what they need to deal with and neither are you, but that's what's off. There's a little bit of trauma left over here that they have to deal with. Maybe even toxicity, I don't know yet because this makes me a little nervous that you're attracted to people who like to have control. You are codependent in this, whether you realize it or not. And it's in your intuition, so you know something's there. Okay, we're gonna dig a little deeper, see what the issue is, if we can, and see if there's potential here. Um, and if not, uh, maybe what's coming next, or maybe advice on how to work through this, I don't know. We'll see what Kipper has to say, we'll dig deeper. Join me in the extension. You can find it below, it's the very first link. And also there's a link to my Instagram, a link to my website, and booking instructions if you're interested in a private reading. So I'll see you in the extension. If not, I'll catch you back here next time. Good luck with this, Leo. Ciao, ciao for now now.